we know about that, you know, we know about the IPsec and JRE. We complete lab we have done, right? Agree we? JRE and IPsec? Yeah. 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 This, this has been completely with the theory and practical. We have done a lot of, you know, brainstorming on it. So no need to worry about that. Now we just have to understand very, you know, latest technology that's the LISP and VXLAN. Okay. So we just have to understand what is the LISP and what is the VXLAN. So let's understand first VXLAN or either one first. Let me see where is my VBT. I think this is a data center topic, right? VXLAN. Yes, yes. Everything yeah. is there. Everything is there, right? So, so they have covered uh, <laughs> some portions of all kind of tracks and all kind of track. Yeah, that's the Bible of the networking. That's what I'm saying. That this is the Bible of the networking. You have everything available in this in core. If you go in deep for the topics, you're never going to complete this level. So you just have to go like concepts like why you use what is the you know uh, so they have uh, they have a bible and they have another uh, single track for yes yes for absolution for combine all both and then you are since np yes 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 absolutely absolutely right so where is my ppt let me see in core pdf just let me see Let us see. No, we're having a different PPT. Hmm. One is the wireless virtualization network management. We are we multicasting network security. Hmm. Where it is? I just have one of the slides. Jerry over IP sec wireless VXLAN. Not bad. Okay, leave it. If not available, we can go with this slide only. I was thinking I have somewhere. Okay, it's already there. So everything is already there in this slide. So no need to worry. So what is the VXLAN? Okay. So first understand what is the underlay network and what is the overlay network and what is the VXLAN. So then we'll understand about the Lisp. Right. Right. So if I talk about the VXLAN, this is something you might be know about the overlay and underlay network. So if I'm talking about the overlay network and underlay network, probably I'll explain in the, while explaining the GRE and IPsec. So GRE also overlay, IPsec also overlay, DMVPN also overlay, your VXLAN also you have the, you know, uh, overlay, your list protocol also, uh, always I confuse list versus lips. So let me just check it, lisp, L-I-S-P. So list protocol, right? And many more, right? So these are all overlay. These are the all overlay technologies. So what is the underlay? So underlay basically to just build the basic reachability between the devices. What is the basic reachability? Any basic IP connectivity. If you want to do any basic IP connectivity, that is basically known as the underlay. So to build any overlay, basically you required underlay. Without underlay, you cannot build the overlay, right? So this is the underlay and overlay network. So let's just suppose in the previous section, I want to build the IP sectional to show that my this router was connected with ISP and this was another router. So first my public address, this IP address, PIP and this public IP should be pingable. They need to ping each other. If they're not able to ping, we cannot able to bring the IP sec tunnel between the devices. This is the first thing. Similar way, if you want to build the GRE, you want to build the IP sec, you want to build the DMVPN, LISP, or VXLAN, you require the underlay. So that's why the underlay overlay concept should be very clear. Why you use the underlay? 
and why you use the overlay so underlay is just you know this your vx land technologies is going to use in the data center so in data center we having the concept that is known as the leaf and spine this is the technologies or this is the architecture we just have to use so these leaves and a spine before making any fabric in the data center basically they have to build a very good underlay connectivity that means your devices must be physically connected they are reachable then only you can build the overlay you can build the overlay so they can communicate they can talk to or build the any vx lan communication so if we talk about the vlans right if we talk about the vlans vlans having the very limited range vlans having the very limited range so vlans was just 12 bit filled and this can be just 4000 vlans if we talk about the vlans this is a traditional switching but if we talk about the vx lan this is again a vlans this is the vlan but virtual extensible local area network so this is extension of the vlans and this all is going to be having 24 bits so this was a 12 bit and this is going to 24 bits and this is going to happen around 16 million vni so this is called vx lan is called basically vni that is a vx lan network identifier similar to the vlans so if i am talking with the vni you just think about i am talking with the vlans so this is the first thing you have to understand so traditional switch basically it was using for the you know your 12 bit address and by using those 12 bit address you can build like 4000 vlans but these vlans are very limited if you go in the very amazon data center you go in the like aws data center or azure data center or gcp data center this vlans might be the very less because they having the millions of billions customers millions of billions servers very large infrastructure so this is not capable to handle those connectivity so we required the extended range that's why the vx lan come in a picture okay and when we use the vx lan we just use the 24 bits which can provide the 16 million vx lan or vlans and which is known as the vni okay so this is the basic difference vlans and the vni both are layer 2 you know network connectivity and both are the vlans only it's the extended format is going to be happen so this is the first thing about the vx lan now moving to the next thing underlay overlay we understand second thing in data center we having the fabric which is known as the leaf and spine fabric and this leaf and spine fabric based on the model that is known as the aci application centric infrastructures and this use the controller that is the ap controller similar to the visco v manage dns center controller right dnac controller this is the ap controller which having a central dashboard by using the central dashboard you can just configure the policy you can deploy the vni you can deploy the vtaps you can create the something to just manage the your complete data center fabric so you having the switch it they are known as the leaf and spine switch spine or leaf design so what is the spine and what is a leaf so if you talk about the spine switch the spine switch of the switch who is responsible to connect the upper layers means if you want to connect with the routers to go in the internet or internal your network you just go always via the spine switch connectivity what is the leaf so leaf switch is the actual switch where your nodes your servers are going to be connected so this is your leaf right leaf is going to be your all server is going to be connected one another beautification of this leaf in a spy model or by the vx lan let's say suppose <clears throat> there is one machine connected in the vlan 10 right and you just wanted to move this machine here in again a vlan 10 so earlier if there is no vlan 10 here right if there is no vlan 10 here how you can move that your switches must be connected and you just pass the vlan information from one switch to another switches then it is going to be 
you know provide the your vlan information and you can pass but now here is the layer 3 devices also you can see these are the layer 3 devices and these are the not directly connected these switches are not directly connected so how this vlan 10 can be directly connected here this can be possible if you're using the vxlan or leap is fine model so this is the beauty of the leap in spine in regard of the where you are traveling with servers your user machines your clients if you want to carry the same vlans it can be carried this is the beauty of the vxlan or leap spine mechanism and how it is going to happen just understand so few parameters you just have to understand so we having the vtap tunnel right we having the vam so what is a vtap tunnel what is a vam so vtap tunnel is the vlan uh, vxlan tunnel endpoint so every leap switches this must be available every leap switches this must be available that is known as the your vtap vtap is just through using the ip address of the vam so your vam is nothing vam is the you know device that does vxlan encapsulation at least the one ip address so whenever any packet is going to land to the switch the vam is going to be capture those packet and based on the ip address or use the any ip address which is just you can configure and by use that vam they can build the tunnels from one device to another device and this tunnel can carry their layer 2 information traffic not layer 3 so basically these are the layer 3 connectivity this is the leap spine is going to connect via the layer 3 but over the layer 3 if you want to build the layer 2 tunnels that is a use of the vam virtual ethernet module this is the virtual ethernet module is going to be dedicated you know available in this particular box that is your spine or uh, sorry leap switches and based on that they are going to create from one switch to another switch the vtap tunnel the virtual tunnels that is a vxlan tunnel endpoint using the ip address from the vam so vam having one ip address and it can just send the temporary tunnels to the vtap to the another switch that's it and why they are doing this You're just doing the layer 2 transfer so in case just think about again i'm saying that there is one pc in vlan 10 and this pc move on this switch and you want to or you connect new pc in the vlan 10 here and you want to make the communication it's absolutely going to communicate over these tunnels because this tunnel is going to build the layer two communication. Okay. So if I go and move a little bit next, so you can see here how the communication is going to happen step by step in by using the VXLAN. So you can see here server one want to communicate with the server two. These are the same VLANs. See the VLAN 10 because the subnet is same. So if send the R broadcast, so server one send the R broadcast. So it is going to send the R broadcast based on the MAC and uh, whatever the MAC they have and based on the destination IP, they will send the layer two address, right? So the R request is going to be sent. So leap switch, right? See here, leap switch one, this is the leap switch. Learn the MAC address, which attach interface, this one is the interface. So this MAC address is going to learn here, which is member of the VLAN 10. And VLAN 10 is mapped under the VNI. This is the VNI. So this is the, again, map this vlan 10 to this vni so equivalent to this vlan this is the vni this you can do that so vni having the larger range in compared to the your vlans so this is how you can map so once your vni map leap switch send the broadcast to its multicast address so they use the multicast address so every switch who just want to build that channel or they want to listen the vtap traffic or the vxlan traffic they must have to join this multicast tunnel that is a 239.1.1.10 this is a multicast address for the vxlan so they just send the broadcast to the multicast group not all the ports the port who are listening that group they will receive that particular traffic so leaf 3 received the broadcast flood this is going to receive and send it road out via tunnel, VTAP tunnel, because they first build the VTAP tunnel. If they are failed to beat the VTAP tunnel, your broadcast traffic cannot be transferred from here to here, right? The server to respond with the MAC address. So this is going to respond and this is going to travel via this and lift three 
three switch no this is the ip address of the port and send the rp reply to the identifier so whatever the ip address this is the ip address and what is the mac address and they just going to reply and based on that ptap tunnel is going to carry the information and they just going to reply here and then they just build the mac table in this way and ptap table in this way so vxlan is something where you having a two three component just you have to understand first building the tunnels you have to build the tunnels so without building the tunnels you cannot even the communicate from the one switch to another switch but once you build the tunnel you can easily transfer the any vlan traffic to another because they will just broadcast with the help of the multicast not plain switching broadcast right not plain switching broadcast they basically use the multicast address so this is how vx lan is lan is going to be work so if you planning to do that data center communication or data center certification you will get the more deep dive in this vx lan and you get the actual configuration how it is going to be configured right but here you don't have to configure see in this levels you just have to understand about the concept describe the network virtualization concept the list and the vx lan so you just have to understand what is a vx lan so if you are understanding this concept like what is a vx lan like uh, and what is a different between the vlan and vx lan and how vx lan technology going to work where it is going to work and how basically the communication is going to happen that's enough for you for ccnp in core point of view but if you want to get the specialization expert you just have to go and do the data center certification where you we'll go to a very deep dive you understand how the vtap is going to form the tunnel how the vlan is going to form the tunnels and everything okay so this is about the vx lan any question someone clear raj no, no, sir clear it's clear clear to summarize sir in hindi actually uh, means okay. just uh, a summarize like uh, just one one statement idea right uh, okay is... see so hindi agar aapko samajhna hai to vx lan kya hai simple sa hai vx lan vlan hota hai hamare paas aur hamare paas vxlan do cheez hota hai vlan jo khali ek ek doubt hai ki jaise aapne bola jaise ek server mein leke gaya ek matlab ek switch se wo main second side pe leke gaya na wahan pe mera vlan 10 tha nahi okay so wahan pe vlan 10 automatic kaise bana wo mujhe jaan nahi nahi suppose karo ki maan ke chalo ki yahan pe ek pc hai theek hai 10 mein theek hai and there is another pc which is connected to the vlan 10 here you just connected and configured this port under the vlan 10 और मान लेते हैं तो स्टिल यू कैन कम्युनिकेट विद सर्वर विलन टेन एक सीना हो सकता है या दोनों पीसी को आप यहाँ पे कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हो दिस इज हाउ इट इज गोइंग क्लियर और दूसरा कोई मॉडल नहीं है ठीक है वेलकम so the next topic let me just stop this one